Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Matt, I'm just a dude. And if you're like me, you're out enjoying this beautiful weekend in February. But one thing that beautiful weekends also bring, that's right, lawn maintenance. To help out with this lawn maintenance, I went and purchased a new Toro recycling mower. It's a 21 inch mower, gas powered. So let's get this thing out of the box and see what it can do. While I'm unboxing this mower, here are the mower specs. It's a 21 inch Toro recycler mower, self propelled rear wheel drive, 140 cc gasoline Briggs and Stratton engine with 5.5 foot pounds of grass cutting torque. No oil change with guarantee to start technology. Has a mulch bag or side discharge, two year warranty, three year engine warranty. All for $2.99 at Home Depot. Here's everything that came in the box as is. We have the lawnmower in the handle. We got a quart of 30 weight Toro motor oil. And we have the bag, which needs to be put together as well. To put this lawnmower together, I started with the push or control handle. The mower and parts came covered in protective wrapping, which all has to be removed before use, but it was easy to take off. The handle went on easy enough, and you just have to put the bolts through the holes in the handle and tighten it down with these screw handles. The bag required some assembly as well, but wasn't anything more than securing the bag ends over the bag frame. Now it's time to add the oil, which is supplied with the mower. Now some gas and it should start. Before starting, I checked under the mower body to make sure there was not any packaging underneath or any protective covering in the air cleaner housing. The mower was easy enough to start for a brand new mower. Now this mower isn't a powerhouse, so mowing the bigger bunches of grass required the mower to go through the patch slowly. It threw a lot of grass trimmings out of the mower, but I did have the mower raised up a bit, so I'm not sure if this is to blame for this or not. The bag does fill up pretty quickly though. So some final thoughts about that Toro lawnmower. I thought the power was decent. It needed to go slow when it went through the big mounds of grass, but other than that, it was okay. Also, if you look at the handle, I'll show it to you, but the drive handle, if you just don't pull the drive handle down all the way, right off the bat, it won't jump away from you. You can ease into it. But I thought the lawnmower for the price was decent. The only thing I didn't like, well, there's a couple things I didn't like. One, I had to empty the bag twice to get this lawn done. It's in the winter time, it's half dead. So in the summertime when it gets a little bit more water and starts growing, it's gonna to need to be emptied twice, which I think is a little excessive. The lawn is about approximately 23 by 40 feet. So it's got a tiny bag on it. Also the handle or the one of the legs that goes to the handle that connects down to the, to the mower, it was bent, which for me wasn't a big deal. I just kind of bent it back in place. Is it weaker now? probably will it bend again I don't know for me it wasn't that big of a deal somebody else might want to take that lawnmower back and get a different one there's a skirt that goes on the bottom of the mower that gets drug along behind the mower it's already ripping other than that it's $2.99 it's the cheapest Toro self-propelled mower you can get at Home Depot so you're gonna get what you pay for those are my final thoughts on that if you like the video if you can like and subscribe, it would definitely help out the channel. My name is Matt, I'm just a dude, and if I can't fix it, I'll fix it so no one else can. Thanks for watching.